When do we use analytical review? When can we use it seems like? There's more than one place in our audit that we can use this, and it's important to understand um, how this particular process or how this little tool can help us. One of the things it helps us with is risk assessment, and this you should know by now is in the planning stages of your audit, when you're planning an audit. Why would this help you? Well, when we're using words like it seems like it's right or wrong, we, we've already spoken about the fact that we're, we're not investigating, okay? So I'm not going to prove anything yet. I'm not actually scratching it out and I'm not actually investigating. I'm not going and recalculating. I'm just looking at something and saying it seems right or it seems wrong. So when I look at information and go, that seems okay and that doesn't seem okay, don't you think that that could be a really good way for us to, to assess risk and to go, you know, I'm looking at sales. That doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem reasonable. Therefore, I think maybe my risk should increase. I'm looking at uh, purchases based on what I know about the company, based on my knowledge and my experience and my understanding of the company, that seems okay from what I see at the moment. So maybe I can decrease the risk for purchases. So analytical review helps us with our risk assessment because we're not investigating yet. We're not spending time gathering evidence yet. We're looking at the financial information and we go, based on what I know, based on my experience, based on my understanding of financial information and this company, these numbers don't seem right. And if they don't seem right, that might indicate a higher risk of material misstatement. And so I'm going to increase my risk or decrease my risk. So when we are doing risk assessment, analytical review is extremely valuable for us to help us identify risks. So that's cool. We also use it as substantive procedures, or um, tests of detail, and this is our evidence or our proof. Okay? So we use this as part of our evidence to prove the fair presentation of the financial statements. Now, I know that the accountant in us is looking and going, you can't use it seems right as evidence. And we're going to go through why you can and how much you can rely on it. But we do use it as part of our procedures. Recalculate that, uh, inspect this and perform analytical review. It is part of your evidence. It may not make up all of your evidence, but it is part of it. So we use it while we are gathering evidence. It also helps us in the valuation phase. As we pull everything together, when we're evaluating whether or not our evidence is sufficient and appropriate, when we pull all the work that the audit clerk has done on sales and purchases and debtors and creditors and PPE and liabilities and everything, you can imagine how much work there is that they've done. And we pull it all together and go, based on everything we've done, based on all audit work that we've done, does this seem right? Now we've collected all our own information and we've collected all our own evidence. Now that we take a look at this information, does it seem right? So analytical review is great when we're performing evaluation, when we're going through our audit evidence, the final stages of our audit before we go into reporting. Does it seem like we have enough evidence? Does it seem that our evidence is enough to support our opinion? Here in this chapter, I'm going to focus mainly on how to use analytical review as, um, as part of your evidence, but understand that you can use it and you do use it in your planning stages and you can use it and you do use it in your evaluation stage as well.